It's no secret John Mayer likes expensive things. Well, let's tell the story of the day you and I had a couple drinks. Yeah, we did. And walked in the Rolex boutique and both bought the white gold GMT. At what point is it ridiculous? I mean, trust me, I think watches are incredible. I totally get the watch thing. The VisVim clothing is super cool. I wish I could afford it, but this right here, this small piece of plastic, a guitar pick, I think is maybe the most ridiculous thing that John Mayer spends a lot of money on, or is it? We're gonna test it today. This is a blue chip guitar pick. To be specific, it's a TD35 blue chip guitar pick, and this is a $35 guitar pick. That is per pick. Okay, so just to give you some perspective. The picks that I normally use, which are Dunlop Cordex picks, are about 45 or 44 cents a piece. So 44 cents a piece versus $35 plus shipping a piece for a pick like this. And yes, I splurged and I bought one for myself because I had to know what was going on with these things. Now, there are a lot of great players out there who use blue chip picks, so there is obviously something to them, but I mean, I'm no mathematician, but 44 cents versus $35, you can buy a lot of 44 cent picks for $35. So, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna do just a direct test with this guitar, same microphone, same guitar, same strings, playing the same thing, and see what a $35 pick sounds like versus a 45 cent pick versus a $20 pick that Martin actually makes, the Martin Lux pick. And we're gonna see if there's really any difference between any of these picks. And if there's something to John Mayer playing these picks, or if it's just a flex because he can, and he can afford to have $100 or more worth of picks sitting on a microphone stand during a show. So there's the test. What do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know if you can tell the difference between each one of these picks. I will tell you in the room here, I'm not listening through the microphone, I'm just listening to the raw acoustic guitar in my studio. Out of the three, I have to say the most comfortable and pleasing sound is the Martin Lux pick. Is that what you would pick? Did I just discover the perfect happy medium? It's not $35 a piece, it's $20 a piece. And it's a little bit better than the 44 cent a piece Dunlop pick. I don't know, maybe I did. You let me know what you hear through your phone or your headphones or your TV at home. I'm sure it's gonna be different for everybody. I've tried to make it as consistent as possible across these three options. And to answer the question as to whether or not these picks are the expensive picks, because I would put the Martin Lux picks in the same category as the blue chip picks, um, whether or not they're worth it. Do you need it? No, obviously not, you don't need it. John Mayer himself has said it, he can't really recommend that people buy $35 a piece picks because I mean, you don't need to. Dunlop picks are great. I've used them for years. I have no complaints. Actually, to be honest with you, before I discovered blue chip picks, I had no idea people were buying picks that were this expensive. So now that I'm kind of hip to this world, I'm thinking, well, okay, maybe there is something to it because that Martin Lux pick actually feels really great. And I think it sounds great. Now, if I had never played that pick, I don't think I'd be missing anything because up until now I hadn't really played with it. I guess maybe there is something to this. What do you think? I don't know. I tend to think that, you know, everything John Mayer does guitar wise, tone wise, gear wise is pretty purposeful and it's not just because he can. Yes, he plays with Klon overdrive pedals that are, you know, five to $10,000 a piece. However, I don't think he has more than one. If he does, maybe two. And it's not just because he can, but I mean, that's like a part of his sound. So I have to believe that some internal mayor headquarters research was done uh, where he decided that the blue chip picks were actually what gave him the best feel and sound coming out of his guitars. So again, my vote, Martin Lux. I think it's a nice, I won't even call it happy medium because 44 cents versus $20 is still a huge difference. However, I do think if you're gonna go for an expensive pick, knowing that there is a slightly less expensive option out there from the blue chip, you know, I mean, it's something cool. I will say this though, blue chip picks, I, no one's sponsoring this video. This is just my own thoughts and opinions on this, but blue chip picks, uh, I did pay an extra $5 to have my name engraved on this pick because I figured, hey, it's pretty expensive. 
Um, so I would like to know if it's mine or not, and it really doesn't leave my studio very much. I don't take it on gigs because I tend to drop picks and lose them. Um, but the Martin Lux pick comes in a really cool little case. Comes with a little sandpapery thing you can put on the pick if you like to have a little extra grip there, and it comes with a little satin bag. So I don't think there are any uh, personalization options with the Martin version of the expensive guitar pick, but uh, certainly with Blue Chip, you can kind of go crazy and get your name engraved on the guitar pick. One thing though, don't try to put John Mayer's name on here because they're gonna know what you're doing and they're not gonna do that. So just don't even bother. But just know that if you wanna get one step closer to playing like John Mayer, all you have to do is spend $35 plus shipping on one guitar pick.